question that I get now a lot is what about safety and security? And in this part of the world, we get a bad rap. We get a rap that, oh, it's Central America, it must be dangerous. People have these stories that they've heard fifth hand, sixth hand, seventh hand, but most of them aren't true. Crime is local, and that's what we know. I mean, I grew up in western Pennsylvania. I moved to Washington, D.C., or the D.C. area. People say, oh, you're moving to Washington. That's a dangerous city. Well, yeah, some parts of Washington are dangerous, but most of Washington is not. And, and so the same thing holds true in, in Central and South America. I mean, Belize, yeah, there's dangerous parts of Belize. There are not dangerous parts of Belize. Folks, where I am today, this is not dangerous. Very little crime on the island of Ambergris Key. Um, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't have security in our communities. Because security is sort of the ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And so understanding what the security is like, how it's implemented, how it's operated is absolutely crucial. Because again, an ounce of prevention is worth a you know, pound of cure. So ask about security. Is it a gated community? Is the area fairly safe? Uh, talk to people on the street. That's one way to really find out. You know, talk to the different people. Talk to the restaurant owners. Talk to people sitting at a bar. Talk to people who live in the community. How safe is it? Have there been any problems? And if the answer is generally, no, nah, it's, it's nice. I think you can trust that because they have a horse in the, in the race. They live here. They, they work here. Um, and again, it's just that simple little bit of due diligence. Asking that question will make sure that you end up in an area that you feel safe and comfortable because ultimately, if you feel safe, you can relax and enjoy your home or condo in one of these wonderful countries south of the border.